Hola, yogis. Welcome to today's yoga with us on our beautiful terrace. This is Pablito. <laughs> Maybe half of him is here, and this is Nina. <laughs> and we're going to have a chill yin yoga today. We'll have a hip opening in yoga. So in this flow, we're going to have. Uh, for each pose, for uh, for each asana, five to ten breaths. We just try to stay there as long as poss we possibly can. Just embrace, embrace the stretching, the relaxation of our muscles. Just let our body wind down and open up. All right. With that being said, I'll see you. Um, with our face down towards the mat, totally lay down on our mat and on our belly. See you there. All right. So now we are laying on our belly and uh, we'll relax in this reversed cops pose for. Like five to six breaths, just relax our body, let it melt on the ground, and we'll slowly start the flow. With our arms stretched out in front of us, and then legs like pulled out behind us, and face forehead down on the mat. Big breath in, and out through the mouth. At the last breath, we'll just slowly bring the right hand back next to our shoulders and press ourselves a little bit up, just for us to be able to lift our right knee and bring it closer to the chest, ninety degrees angle of our hips towards our torso and knee, and then we'll place our head back down on the ground. So we'll open on the right side of the hip. This is a frog pose with our upper body resting on the floor. Feel the opening on the right hip, and try to square off your hips so that you also dip into your right hip. Pablito, can you go away from the camera? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sit, sit. <laughs> Good boy. Aja. Also, five breaths here is to feel the opening of the right hip. Pablito likes to go tongue to tongue into the camera. And from here, keep your lower body in this position, and we'll just bring the hands towards your shoulder and chest, and we'll just push yourself up in the high cobra. So, just like keep the chin, keep the chin tucked into your chest, and lift yourself up and. Your head comes at last. Hands a little bit out so that it's less strain on your lower back. <sighs> Give a stretch on the left in the groins. So this hip, front hip and thigh area is where the liver's meridian goes. 
it's really good if you stretch it out time to time this area the hip area the thigh the front growing the front side a growing area pablito are you feeling very hot or what mm. open in the chest stay here for another three rounds of breath If you feel like it's too much tension on your lower back, you can always come on to your elbow. So it's kind of like a spring sp sp springs pose. Frog and springs pose. Now we bring our right leg back and we'll just do it on the left side. Bring the left knee closer towards the chest, 90 degrees. Flex the toes as well and come down onto this resting frog pose. Another three deep rounds of breath. You can put a blanket underneath your knees just for some kind of support. All right, gently. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders and lift yourself up into a high cobra variation with the frog leg. Stay in this high cobra. Pablito, ven aquí, ven aquí. Come on to our elbow just for for less tension on our lower back. Hmm. Open up. And bring the left leg back to meet the right. We'll just stay in this spring pose. Relax your lower back. Just press down through the pubic bone into the mat and open up through the collarbones. Chest, calf out through your arms. Gaze up. And wind down. Bring hands underneath the shoulders. We'll push ourselves back into a wide legged child's pose. And we'll stay in this child's pose for five deep rounds of breath. <sighs> And slowly push yourself to sit up on top of your knees. We'll bring the legs in front of us. Come into a seated forward fold. There is a bee or vesper next to me. I hope it doesn't sting me. <laughs> and we'll come into a seated forward fold. Feel free to bring a bolster or a block underneath our knees just for gentle support. We don't want to overstrain our hamstring today or everything just go really gentle and soft because we'll stay in every pose a little bit longer. So yeah, keep your knees a little bit elevated, flex your toes towards your face, 
sit and tall, ground through our sit bones and sit our upper body tall. And from here, take a big inhale, exhale, hinge at hips. I will come, bring our chest on top of on top of our side, and bring our hands forward as far as they can go. And rest our forehead on top of the knees, on top of the shin, or just use your hand for support. Stay in this seated forward fold for 10 rounds of breath. Yes, 10 rounds. There's this little vesper. It's like I think it's dying, but it's just like around me, walking around, little animal, little creature. I don't want to kill it. Let it be. <laughs> I'm having also a bigger. <laughs> I don't know if it's a bee or vesper. Anyway. Okay, gently set yourself up. We'll remove the block underneath the knees. And then we'll just bring the feet on the ground in front of us, bend the knees, and bring the hands a little bit behind us, fingertips towards back of the mat, and open the collarbones, open the chest, and we'll just do a few rounds of seated windshield, windshield wiper with the knees side to side. Start gentle and soft. Start small, or come eventually into bigger twisting. And just move your body a little bit with bigger range of motion, even with your hand reach back of the mat of the room. Breathe out when you reach back, come back, breathe in and breathe out. And then the next one, we'll just place our right hand down behind our mat behind our hips on, on our mat and we'll just bring our body down. Keep the uh, lower body in this twisted motion, twisted asana and we'll just place our upper body as low as possible onto the mat. You can totally even rest yourself on the mat behind us. This is reclined deer pose will have a lot of release here on the hips. I hope this bee doesn't come to my knee. <laughs> Feel the release of the tension on your right um, lower back. It's a great Pose to release any lower back tension. Mm. Five rounds, five rounds of breath more. I hope this bee just stay there where they where it is. Gently lift yourself up. Um, we'll come back to face forward. 
center of our mat. And again, windshield wiper to the right, to the left, to the right again, and we'll land on the right side. Bring the left hand down and bring our body as twisted as possible and rest on our upper body on the mat. Mm. Wow, it's really great. And gently lift yourself up, up and up. <laughs> Come back to center. And we'll keep this sitting position. Just lift your torso up. Sit up and tall. Take a big inhale and exhale release. We'll just bring our right, uh, right foot on top of our left knee and bring the left foot closer to, into our body. We'll just come into a seated figure four. Shake your hips right to left, left to right. <sighs> and then eventually we'll come into a stillness. Flex the right toes. Pablito. Pablito, ven aquí. Pablito. If you feel like of another twist, Support with your left hand behind you, and we'll just lift our right hand up, right arm up, and bring the elbow all the way outside of your right sole and twist towards the left. And since we're already in a twisted motion, so we'll just bring our uh, leg all the way towards the left, bring the right sole of the foot down. Up, sit, sit, don't go there, it's the bee. <laughs> sit, up, sit, up, sit. And twist towards the right. Gaze over your right shoulder. Oh, feel the rings of your stomach. <laughs> good for digestion as well. And this very good detoxification of our body. Okay, come back to center. We'll do it on the other hand. On the other foot, on the other legs. <laughs> Bring the left foot on top of your right knee. And sit tall, adjust yourself, bring the right foot in, and open your chest. Figure four. <sighs> Gaze up, enjoy this opening of the left hips.
twist towards the right. Mm. My right side and left side are slowly, uh, are slightly different. And we'll bring the left foot all the way towards the right and twist to the left. Gaze over the left shoulder. Big breath in and I'll squeeze more. Come back to center. We'll do a reverse tabletop with the hands behind us and knees bent. We'll keep our elbows slightly bent as well. Don't over strain our arms and elbow. So just to protect the tendons and finger, finger, fingers towards um, the front of our mat. Lift your hips, inhale, exhale, lift your hips up, come into a reverse tabletop. Chains tucked into the chest or let the neck hang if your neck allows. And gently bring the hips back down. Neck slowly come back up. And we'll just come into a tabletop. In this tabletop, we'll bring the right leg, right foot all the way in front on the edge of our mat, outside of our right hand. It's a lizard's pose, lizard's pose with the left knee down. Just your left knee position. And a few inhale and the exhales here just to feel the opening of your left hip, left in the growing. <sighs> we go sway your hips side to side, let it release, and slowly come onto our elbows. Keep the left right knee open towards the right side. This has another name, this pose called Winged Dragon. <laughs> but I prefer to call it Variated Lizard's Lizard Pose. <sighs> You can also try to open your body towards the right and push the knee away. A little. Come. It's perfect to kiss your dog in this pose as well. Give a little kiss. Mm. Mm. <laughs> And lift yourself up. Bring the right knee back. Come back to center. I feel sway of the hips. Loosen up any tension. Come onto the left side. Bring the left foot all the way outside on the edge of the mat, outside of your right hand. Not just your right knee position just to feel the opening a few inhales and now exhales enjoy put a smile on your face and then we'll gently come onto the elbows
push your left knee out towards the left. Gaze up. Okay, it's forward. Hmm. Enjoy the wind. I am enjoying the wind. Enjoy the opening of my lower body. A lot of tensions start there, and it's good for our liver meridian. It's like a massage of our liver's meridian. So it's also good, you know. The livers are are normally storing storaging all the toxins of the food we eat, the air we breathe, you know, the emotions we and negative emotions we store. So it's good, you know, to open up this area. Detoxification. Let the negativity go. All right, bring the left knee back. Now we'll come onto our back. We'll lay down and come onto our back. And here the block comes handy again. It's good to invest a block or a bolster. I'm going to buy a bolster on Amazon. <laughs> I love bolsters with the Yin practice. All right, so we'll come to lay down on our back. <sighs> we'll come into a supported bridge pose. Bring the block underneath our sacrum bone. Mm -hmm. Here, just a little bit at the edge of our glutes and at the bottom of our lower back. Okay, here. Big inhale and exhale. Feel the opening of the front hip. If you feel like you want to stretch your arms all the way in front of your head and stretch your legs all the way out. So we feel a little bit more intense, the opening of the frontier of our body. Pointing the toes, stay here for five rounds of breath. Focus on the opening of your front hip and size. Just focus on this area, you know, like this is where we storage our negative emotions, stresses, toxication, toxins, you know, so just focus. Bring your attention here. Imagine, you know, like manifest that the stress and activity are leaving your body. You know, have a manifestation in your brain. Imagine. <sighs> Every time when you exhale, they are leaving your body. And bring the feet back gently, slowly, and hands down. And lift your hips up slightly, take the blocks out. And okay, so we'll come into a supine windshield wiper. Arms can be in a T or cactus above our head, whatever. Just open your chest and we just swing the knees side to side windshield wiper <laughs> i really love this windshield wiper i do it like every night before i go to sleep it's really good to release you know the lower back tension the lower back tension the hips and also a little bit of massaging on the lower back We'll come into center and bring the right foot on top of the left knee. Supine figure four. Open the right knee out. Pushing your right knee with your right hand helps. And then maintaining the upper body position will bring the 
legs towards the left side, and bring until the right sole touch the floor. And we'll come into this twist to ex extend ex um, extendify <laughs> this pose, just to bring the left knee a little bit closer to the body, and grab the right ankle with your. Uh, left hand and push it in towards your chest. Keep your left, uh, your right shoulder grounded on the on the mat. So we'll come into we'll we'll just stay in this twist. Keep the right knee away from your your body. Sorry, not expensive, intensify. <laughs> Excuse my my funny English sometimes. I hope you still understand me. <sighs> Come back to center. Switch side. <laughs> First, windshield wiper. Release the tensions. Come back to center. Left foot on top of the right knee. Open the left knee away from the chest. And swing your legs all the way towards the right. Until left sole touch the ground, and bring the left right knee closer to the body, and grab your left ankle with your right hand. And gaze towards the left. Left knee away from the chest. Inya. Inya. Very soon we'll come into our last pose. Before our last pose, we'll come into a happy baby pose. Bring the knees towards the armpit. Open it, and. Hands through the inside of our leg and hold the outside of our、um, feet, and bring the knee towards our、uh, the armpit. Lengthen the tailbones towards the floor, so that keep your lower back on the floor. You know, and pressing the knee towards the armpit. And kick your feet into your hand, and press your hand through your feet. Press down through your feet. And gently release. We'll come into a pentacle, pentacle. Sorry, pentacle, like a star pose. Pentacle. Open the legs wide up, and open your arms into a T shape. Relax your body. This is the last pose. We、we'll、just relax here. Another few rounds of breaths.
Slowly wiggle your fingers, your toes. Stretch out. Come to the side of your body and push yourself up into a seated pose, seated position. Oh. Every time I do an outdoor yoga, I feel like I'm more tanned. <laughs> Come into a seated pose. I feel wiggles of the spine. Take a big inhale, arms up, gaze up, bring the hands together at the heart center, bow down, thank yourself, namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you, muchas gracias. Um, yeah, well, I think my babies are really hot right now. They are waiting for me to bring them inside. <laughs> it is still quite hot, even if it's cloudy. <laughs> we had a big thunderstorm this week, this past week, and it was just for like two days, cool down, and then it's back to super hot again. <sighs> those hot days. Well, I hope you enjoy this yin flow, hip opening yin flow with me. And it's very relaxing Sunday afternoon. Yeah, super chill. Thank you for joining me and uh, Sure,